people that don't speak Portuguese, so I will try to my best to speak in, in, in English. And, and certainly, uh, as I was mentioned, my main reason to be here is to acknowledge all of those that have definitely contributed for the success of this um, of this um, program. It was very nice to listen to our colleague from Canada in, in, in understanding how difficult it is to get accreditation agencies and accreditation reviews, understanding the context of modernization, particularly in the medical in the medical area. So it's good to learn also out of the challenges from the others and again you should be proud for what you have achieved also to discuss and we all know and identify in the course of these years how has been how challenging has been also the, the discussion with the accreditation agency in Portugal with medical doctors throughout the country to make sure that your program is a real um, successful story and will train uh, uh, students in a way that can definitely help changing the medical context and essentially train more and better uh, uh, medical doctors. So let me certain, certainly acknowledge those which have been in charge. Uh, so Jose Pont somewhere uh, in the audience is just here. Uh, that we all know, and we, I remember many years ago when we discussed this um, um, adventure uh, among many others at an international context. Certainly, all those rectors that have been involved, uh, the, the NP at a very early stage, João Guerreiro, then Antonio Branca, and now certainly Paulo, but also those that have now in charge this uh, challenging over the last few years to really make it happen, etc. is a help. A few weeks ago I was here to, to and I participate in a class by Lili Moran, who is somewhere there, and I was particularly um, enthusiastic about the, the, the way uh, himself and the students engage in problem uh, And certainly, I should also acknowledge the medical system in our garden. We have here the president of um, the, the IRS. And the, the, the council, and I see it's interesting to, to have the, the, the council of Farm, but also of the OE, and certainly Francisco Serra from the uh, national or the regional coordination regime, because certainly a problem of medicine is definitely something that should be considered as a, a, a changing actor for a region and it is important to see how people have been active, we understand the challenges but also the enormous opportunities. Also inside the university and I see here several uh, directors and representatives of the different schools. I believe that the, the school of hospitality is well represented by the, the director as well. Uh, because again, what we have observed in many other occasions, not only in Portugal, but particularly worldwide, and uh, I'm sure that in the discussions which we had many years ago, that was a key issue, how the introduction of biomedical education in a university can also change the university per se and essentially attract um, um, people from the most difficult areas for a context which, uh, as we also observed in this very last uh, presentation, is very critical to a whole population at large. And this for me uh, is becoming a critical changing factor. I am a great uh, um, fan of introducing medical school in other universities in Portugal because not only of the need to train medical doctors, not only because of the, the need to better understand the aging process of our population, but also for the changing nature of a medical education throughout the higher education sector when it is considered as a strategic project in the university. So, a word of um, uh, stimulation to those either in humanities or social sciences, certainly in 
technology, but also in hospitality management to better understand how collaboration across the disciplines, particularly in a, in a, in a societal case, human, I understand that word, humanism is very much um, under the topic of this and to, to be a real human type of um, context in the humanistic education, we certainly need to better understand the context of the, the social sciences, the humanities, but also the human behavior of technologies. In the last presentation was very clear the process of digital transformation, which is particularly interesting in the medical education. We know that it is it has been and it will it will strengthen education and the other context of social and economic life across all our uh, fields of uh, social and economic activity, but the changing factor of um, the digitalization of our society, also in medical education, in particular in problem-based learning, is particularly interesting the experience we have, um, we have observed, and therefore, the also of the schools of uh, engineering and technology, uh, and many, many others are particularly Interesting. Um, but if I may, um, it's maybe a very strange to have a mechanical engineer, and particularly uh, someone in the government coming to speak in a, in a, in a session with uh, medical education, but I will try to do my best without affecting the content of your working day. I essentially particularly not only in the last presentation, but from my understanding of certainly the in large opportunities that you face, but also the challenges that you have learned to deal with over the last years. Um, I will, um, you know, I have identified at least five issues which I would like to um, promote the discussion and particularly open the debate because we have uh, a lot of, of time. Certainly, it was clear that in the previous presentation, the word clinical context has been continuously addressed by the, the speaker, by who, um, I'm sorry, I didn't remember your name, um, Judas um, um, Jill. And in fact, we know that it's not possible to have correct medical education without a clinical context, and certainly is not, uh, I don't need to, to explain why problem-based learning in any type of disciplines, we can do problem-based learning in history, in the social sciences, in engineering, in hospitality, in, in each area, they will need to have a adequate practical context, and certainly in the medical education, it needs the clinical context, and therefore, the close relation with hospitals and the, the, the clinical practice is very is very critical, as well as the continuous understanding of um, research activities in a, in, in a way that certainly we need to stimulate not only the, the curiosity, but a well-informed curiosity, which can only be achieved through systematic routines of research, by, for looking for information, but also by looking for the basic principles of um, um, human behavior and the different diseases you are looking at. It was very clear in the, in the session I participated with Nuno Moreau how important it was the, to strengthen the research context as well as the clinical the practice. And therefore, it is clear that to train more and better medical doctors, it can only be achieved and then many other professionals in a true clinical context and in a research environment. And therefore, if we put education together with clinical context in and the research context, which I, we are understanding is the only way possible to real favor better medical education, we certainly need a strong and to strengthen the academic clinical centers. And therefore, let me also acknowledge the work which has been done here over the last few years to real implement the clinical academic centers. I remember when about two and a half years ago I came in.